Hi everybody, today we're going to try something a little different. It's going to be a first live stream on the Raceworks Facebook page and I'm going to do this. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing video of the new PR uh, V3T Type R Stadium truck. This is a two-wheel drive kit and let's open this up and take a look at what's inside the box. Okay, inside the box first we have the new instruction manuals and then the stickers which will include the new grills and lights for the new body shell. And the box is very nicely tightly packed up. Uh, let's start off with the body shell. This is their new Type R uh, truck body shell. I think it's a nice improvement over the previous ST1 truck body. Must say, I really like the new Type R lines. Very sleek looking, very racy looking body truck shell. The truck will come with uh, wheels but no tires. Any standard uh, stadium truck tires and foams will work. PR also carries of course their own range. Uh, here's the rear wing that goes onto the body shell. And now let's take a look inside to see what's in the different packages. Uh, some time ago PR has moved to packing up their parts in very nice uh, sealed packages that are actually reusable. Uh, first of all we have the new uh, 2020 chassis. This is uh, shorter by 5mm from their 2019 chassis for better handling as well as now being uh, 3mm thick so it should work very very well uh, particularly for the uh, high grip, higher grip tracks that we run on for example the uh, turf track where we run locally. That's the chassis. And let's open up bag A. So it looks like in uh, bag A. Let's look at some of the smaller stuff. We have the uh, aluminum uh, servo mounts. These are option parts in some other cars, the side plates, uh, servo saver set with the heavy duty servo saver spring, uh, ball bearing uh, are provided together with the box wrench, this is the hardware, uh, the new uh, steering rack which is uh, very nicely uh, chamfered to have the silver outline. This provides the latest Ackerman design, a bit different from the earlier models. And of course, for PR Racing, their front kick up is a separate plate, mm -hmm. allowing you to uh, adjust it or replace it as and when it's necessary. Metal. And some uh, foam for your battery. Let's move on to bag B. Back B, we have some uh, nice parts. Uh, here we have the uh, front assembly, I believe, featuring the carbon fiber shock tower, as well as their latest uh, heavy duty gray rod ends. These are really good, have had no issues with them. Uh, the new front deck, which allows you to use a front sway bar and you probably can't tell uh, this also comes with the carbon fiber pro steering block for you to adjust uh, different Ackerman settings on your hub side of the car uh, this bag you have the uh, new 
RR block, which is a plus 2mm, gives you more toe-in settings, uh, as in more toe-in overall for better dirt handling. Uh, aluminum front and rear hinge pin blocks with uh, the inserts here to allow you a whole variety of different uh, toe-in as well as anti-squat and uh, roll center settings on the hinge pin side. Here are the heavy duty uh, arms, front and rear. These are very, very thick. And uh, if I remember correctly, the arms are totally reversible. So this reduces the number of spares that you need to keep in your spare parts box. You have uh, nice uh, turnbuckles all provided for you and you probably can't tell inside here. It even comes with a neat little turnbuckle wrench that you have. All the hinge pins as well as uh, the front hinge pin brace. That's plastic. All right, we have the 5.2 mm uh, hexes front and rear, full aluminum clamping hexes, full ball bearing kit, as well as uh, PR's, uh, the drive shaft for the PR car. Now, if you can look carefully, I'm trying to get the glare out, you can see that PR actually over the years has done very nice drive shaft. They've even polished the various parts that are going to come in contact with the uh, rotating parts, the ball bearing specifically, so that you have a uh, precision rotation without uh, any tolerance issues from the uh, hardening process. Nice drive shafts. And that completes our bag B. Mm -hmm. Going on to bag C. What do we have in here? So first off in back C, we have the uh, gear diff assembly. So this features PR's uh, 2020 new diff housing, which is supposed to be a uh, lightweight as well as uh, spins uh, more silently because of the gray material it's made of. I believe these are also their new uh, plus 1.6 mm out drives, which allow you to run greater droop. Uh, for those who don't know, I like the PR gear disc because uh, actually the output here, uh, try to get it closer, has actually all comes with a metal sleeve, which gives you uh, longer life, uh, better durability over time. All the diff gears are metal and they are actually keyed into the diff case so that the pins don't rotate. So very nice uh, gear diff. Also in back C, we have, uh, this looks like the rear assembly. Now PR come, the new cars come with uh, two different waterfalls. You have this one, which is the, uh, this one is the less flex, firmer waterfall. And you have the more flexy waterfall also included. So two options for you to tune your car. Uh, spur gear here, carbon fiber rear shock tower, as well as the gear lay down FM transmission. PR Racing was actually the first car to do a three gear lay down transmission. Uh, now seems to be the standard in the many two wheel drive cars. All right. Also nicely here uh, is the uh, rear camber block. This is a full metal CNC machine piece for durability as well as uh, multiple option settings. Sorry about the glare, try to get it so that you can see. And it's a, also it has that nice uh, silver chamfer on the block. I think I can show you the one on my car. Yep, it, sorry, excuse the dirt, but it is this piece right here.
Also in back C, we have the uh, top shaft. I'm not sure, but this looks like the new lightweight top shaft. It also has the uh, new slipper plates, which of course feature additional machining so that it has a greater surface area for, for cooling. Yeah, you should be able to see that nicely. It doesn't glare. Uh, also here will be the heavy duty slipper spring. Uh, turnbuckles as well as the very nice motor plate so this is their latest motor plate lowers the motor by 2 mm for lower CG and also comes with this uh, top little curve uh, extension here which is a spur gear protector some people think that this is actually to protect the the, the spur gear from the actually it's just to prevent the body shell from hitting the spur gear, especially on the low slung buggy bodies. Yep, mm -hmm. you have the slipper pads as well. So that is the last bag in bag C. One more bag to go in bag D. See what we have here. Ah, this is the uh, shock assembly. So on the V3T Type R, we have big bore shocks from PR Racing. Uh, metal body, metal lower cap, metal spring uh, adjusters with uh, plastic top caps, which I like because they don't wear as badly as the metal ones. With uh, bleeder top bleeder screws so these are typically run without the uh, rebound uh, rubber o-rings for the entire shot assembly comes with a set of springs green springs and it's kind of neat they even provide the uh, little uh, heat shrink tubes for you to mark out your springs here are some additional uh, shock parts. You have the shock pistons, the grey uh, shock retainers, as well as the grey rod ends. PR uh, blue O-rings for the shock internals. And you also have in this bag the uh, carbon fibre uh, battery retainers. Two pieces. So these actually have been a improvement over the one piece retainer that one is typically used uh, for less flex so this gives you a little bit more flex characteristics for holding your battery secure last but not least a little bag of hardware but uh what's nice in here is that uh, pr actually runs a new 5 mm front and rear axles so they require uh so it's actually more durable and pr comes with these very nicely machine serrated uh, nuts i've used these for quite a bit and they are very good the wheels stay on very securely yeah in fact uh, a little bit difficult to come off uh yeah so that will be bag d so with that we come to the end of the uh pr v3t Type R stadium truck unboxing. So I will build up the truck and hopefully we can have a nice run after our little uh, stay at home period here in Singapore because of the uh, current situation. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, bye bye.